centuries old history gives us an understanding of where China's future lies. I'm Olivia Young, CNA, Beijing. This is Asia Now. Hello, guys. 11 a.m. in Singapore and Hong Kong, 8.30 in New Delhi and 10 o'clock in Jakarta. I'm Shahida Osman. At this hour, widespread damage in Japan's southwest island of Kyushu as Typhoon Nanmadol unleashes torrential rains and lashing winds, causing disruptions to power lines and transport. At least 43 people are injured, while capital Tokyo is on alert for floods. Taiwan hit by a fresh 5.6 magnitude quake, the third in three days. Locals are advised to stay vigilant for more aftershocks while officials assess the damage amid ongoing rescue efforts. And burning the world's remaining fossil fuel reserves would unleash three and a half trillion tons of greenhouse gas emissions. Troubling revelations highlighted in a new registry. While policymakers and business leaders gather here in Singapore to accelerate Asia's energy transition. A severe typhoon is ripping through Japan, leaving more than 40 people injured. Weather officials earlier issued a rare special warning, though it has since been downgraded for Miyazaki Prefecture. Japan's weather agency warned of unprecedented danger from high winds, storm surges and torrential rain. The capital Tokyo and neighboring Kanagawa Prefecture are on alert for floods. Officials are urging maximum caution even in areas where disasters are uncommon.